got better. I do. I feel like we've been getting better every week. I feel like it's a, um, a learning process for a lot of players, and we just got to continue to get better. Um, as we had the improvement week last week, I think we came out of practice with the right mindset, and I feel like today was a, a very good practice as well. So I feel like we're moving in the right direction right now. Well, Secondary seems like it's one of the strengths of this team. What do you think you guys are doing? Um, as far as saying there, I feel like we're communicating well. I feel like we have been uh, well tackling um, and just like fitting the run. We gotta get better on, you know, some of the deep or the 50-50 balls, but, you know, other teams on Scott's hit too. So, you know, it's gonna be yeah, a challenge. We gotta get everybody else going. Uh, linebackers, defensive line. We gotta continue to improve too in the secondary. So the defense, we just gonna continue to uh, play well and get better. I think you're pretty sure you're the leading tackler on this team. Is that, is that a good thing when the safety's the leading tackler, or is that you want those guys closer to the line of scrimmage to, to, to do that? I'm the leading tackler. I think so. Um, yeah. If that is true, I mean, it, I mean, it's good. I mean, I'm, I have a, a job in the run fit, and everybody has a part uh, to play in, you know, run defense. Mm -hmm. So I just do my job. I mean, that's all, that's all it is. Coach uh, has, has, you know, put us in a scheme to, you know, make plays. So. That's on him. I'm just about to play football. That's it. What did you take from your uh, kind of self scout when you guys are on your bye week? My self scout? Yeah. Oh, just um, more patience on the field. More patience. You know, sometimes I try to uh, make a whole lot of plays. You know, make too many plays. You know what I mean? So it's just be patient. Understand that I have a job to do. Trust my teammates out there, and um, they they gonna make plays as well. So just trust my teammates a little more and be more patient on the field. That's what Coach Rose uh, told me. And that's pretty much it. How much have you gotten to watch of Colorado on tape so far? Quite a bit, you know, from uh, last year's film and, you know, some of the games this year. Um, number two, he's a very good player. Um, they have a great quarterback at, uh, with Steven Montez, I feel like I think that's his name. Uh, yeah. Quarterback, yeah. And they were very well coached team, so it's going to be, you know, a challenge going out there in Colorado. And it's going to be a great environment to play in. How do you go about defending that guy? I think he's number eight. Uh, one of the leading receivers in the country. Uh, how do you go about defending a guy like that? You talking about number two? Is it number? I don't remember. Chanel or whatever. His name? Yeah, I think he was number eight last year. I believe he's number two this oh, year. Okay. But uh, he, he's like I say, he's a great, uh, you know, good, good player. But you know, I faced, you know, I got a chance to work out with some of the, uh, the best players that's in the NFL, you know, college football. You know, this whole season. So I mean, whole off season. So I feel like. Just, you know, encouraging some of our teammates that at the end of the day, it's just football. You know, we go out there and do our job and have fun. You know, back in the day, you used to line up in the street play, you know, go one-on-one. -on -one. That's all it really is when you really think about it. It's just football at the end of the day. Just have fun. It's an opportunity that, you know, a lot of people don't get to, you know, have. So, you know, embrace the moment. That's what I, I feel like I bring to telling them to say the rest of the secondary. He's a good player, though. You guys have faced a lot of good receivers in the last week. You had Oklahoma, of course, and then um, the Fresno State. State. Keyshawn. Yeah, Keyshawn Johnson was really good. So how how do those kind of battles prepare you to face one of the top receivers in the Pac-12 this week? Uh, every, I feel like every team is going to have, you know, a good receiver. Um, otherwise, you know, they wouldn't be there. So I feel like, you know, around the country there's going to be receivers every week that's going to be able to play good football. And I feel like our job is to – um, as a secondary, just go out there and defend. Like I said, just have fun with it. It's not. It's nothing too serious. You know, it's a lot of things in the world that's really serious. It's not that serious. <laughs> it's, just, it's fun at the end of the day. How are you guys holding up? I know you guys wanted to win a game at this point. How's the team holding up uh, mentally right now? We're in good spirits. We're in good spirits. It's just uh, from a leadership a aspect, making sure you know some of the younger guys continue to have you know the positive mindset. Uh, you know, some things haven't you know swayed our way, but. As long as we continue to stay together and continue to push forward, we will have success at the end. So I'm I'm very excited um, to see us come out on Friday and play. It's gonna be a big, it's gonna be a good game. How, how do you, as one of the leaders of this team, go about that process of keeping everybody spirits up and together? And Just making sure everybody understands that this is fun and this is an opportunity. Like I said before, that most people don't get to have. So embrace that the opportunity that you have in front of you. You know, cherish the moment. You know, these moments go by really, really fast. And I remember being a you know, freshman looking, and now this is my fifth year here, and it's just like, I remember games like, man, like the back of my hand, like, it's just time passes, time don't wait on nobody. So just go out there and have fun. You know, it's, it, like I said, it's a great opportunity um, for us to grow as a team and get better. So, like I said, we going it's gonna be a good game this week. I feel like our team is um, ready. Coach Kelly has, uh, has us with a great mindset. 
you know, I don't think he is really sweating, you know, the losses that we have had. So it's just we going out here like we zero on zero, just going out there trying to win the game. Awesome.